Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide. In today's video we'll be taking a step back from all of the death and destruction usually found in the streets of Los Santos and instead don our inner James Cameron and go out diving. There's two ways you can go down to the depths in GTA. The first way, but by far the most expensive way, is to grab some rebreathers from ammunition for $5,000 each and you can carry up to 20 of them. Or if you're wanting a cheaper and longer experience you can grab a submersible. There's advantages to swimming and using the submersible. Mainly the advantage of swimming is the ability to swim through small gaps, such as ones that I'll show you later in the video, but the downside of using rebreathers is it costs $5,000 for just one minute underwater. And if you want a good look at some of these wrecks, you'll be there for a few minutes so the bill does rack up. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper to grab a submersible, which can be grabbed in these following locations. Usually I just grab this submersible, as there's a 100% chance of one spawning here, so there's no trouble getting your hands on one. I would recommend that you grab a cargo bob to carry the submersibles around, as it allows you to dive in the lake at sandy shores as well as transport the submersibles at a much faster rate than just driving the sub to a destination. So now we have our submersible, where should we go? Well sit back and relax as I show you some of my favourite places to dive in GTA Online. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!